Hello everyone, today I'm setting up a bullet journal that I'm looking to use for next year so I'm setting it up for 2024. I'm using the Leitrim 1917 in the size B5 and I didn't want to have a boring yearly setup because I'm going to be going back to these pages pretty much on a daily basis throughout of the year. So I'm just setting up my 2024 cover page here and I've decided to go with my Crayola Super Tips in all the colours of the rainbow and just create this squiggle design so it's a free flowing idea. And it's easy to do because it doesn't take any doodling skills at all. I go in beforehand and plan out everything in pencil so that's why it looks like I'm speeding through this. The video is sped up as well just for your sake. I will say I don't have the best camera set up when I was filming this. I literally had to sellotape my little stand for my phone to the ceiling because I thought that my little tripod had the ability to do downward shots and it doesn't. So if it looks a little bit blurry or out of focus in some parts, that's why. It was from a distance, it's actually sellotaped to my ceiling. So, getting into the setup, the first page I wanted to do was a grid spacing guide. For the grid spacing guide, all I did was take a fine liner and number all of the boxes going horizontally and vertically. And then I marked out ahead of time the halfway point, quarter points and a space so that I could set the pages up into thirds if I needed as well. And I just used a different colour for the thirds, the quarters and the halves to mark out all of the different measurements. I did occasionally go in with my white jelly roll gel pen just to tidy up some of the areas because I did go out of lines and things like that or I had a pen smudge on me slightly but I didn't include that in the clips. On this second page I'm setting up a space to be able to put a key into the journal so that I know how to use my journal correctly. I haven't decided on the different symbols that I'm going to use yet so I left that blank. I just left that big box so that I can put them in the future. But for the title I just did these capital block letters and filled them in and then I went over the top with a red glitter and a white jelly roll gel pen just to go over the top in some nice writing to give it a bit of contrast and make it look different. Moving across to the next spread, it's my year at a glance page. So I made the title go right the way across both of the pages, but I also cut away a slight bit of the paper so that I could create a Dutch door. So for my title, I just created this black border to match the cover. And I did at a, as you can see, in a nice little cursive font and then I did the year and glance in the block letters that I did and I used my Crayola Super Tips again just to do what I did to the cover page and go in and make it nice and colourful with all the different squiggles. For the setup for my year of the glance, I went in and marked out enough space to be able to fit all of the months across the four pages because technically the Dutch door makes it four pages. So I was able to have three months on each of the pages. I just did a little block to mark out where the dates were gonna go. And I colored in, in black the boxes that didn't have a date at the start of it so that I knew where to start the first of each month. That way it took out any of the problems that I'd have with filling in the dates and the numbering and I wouldn't make any mistakes on it. Now I did leave out putting the numbers in just because that would be boring for you lot to watch, but you will get to see at the end that I did fill everything in. So you will get to see that. And 
Just for the titles at the top, I kept the font super simple. I used my rainbow selection of Jelly Roll glitter gel pens and just did a different colour for each month going in rainbow order. And I separated the months with my ruler and my black fine liner. Just did a vertical line downwards. I will say by adding in that Dutch door, because of the placement on where my Dutch door was, it was right in the middle of a block within the book itself so I could see the thread. So I had to go in and just put a piece of sellotape, clear piece of sellotape, down the centre. I could still use the Dutch door but it was just to make sure that the pages didn't come out, that's all. So I had it at the top half of it. Once that was done, I moved on to my next spread, so I'm currently in the process of trying to lose a bit of weight and I want to keep track of my weight loss on a yearly basis rather than monthly. So I went in with my fine black liner again and created 12 boxes and I work in kilos so I started at my heaviest weight and just worked down in five fives. And for the title, I went in with that block lettering again and just took my rainbow Crayola super tips and coloured it in that way. I do have a little bit of space either side of the title to add a bit more of um, decoration if I wish to in the future. But for now, I actually like the way it looks. So I may change that a little bit in the future, but then again, I may not. On the other side, I had a savings tracker. So for that one, I set it up in a similar way, but I did change a little things to make it look slightly different from the weight loss tracker. So for the title, I went in with one of those black borders like I did for the previous pages. And instead of using the block letter in with the rainbow on the inside, I just took one of my jelly rolls and did a cursive font just to make it nice and easy for me. And then in terms of actually setting this spread up for the tracking motion, I gave myself enough space downwards to be able to fit 10 squares into the columns. That way I can track per £100 that I save. So I'm just working in the upward and downward motion. So I've got five columns there. So I should be able to, in theory, track up to 5,000 pounds in savings when I come to use it. This next spread setup will be my yearly trackers. So rather than setting these up every single month, these will be at the front of my journal so that I can just come back to these on a daily basis and fill the boxes in as I go basically. So the first one will be my period tracker. The second one will be a mood tracker. The third one across is a workout tracker. And the last one on the right hand side will be a tracker to make sure that I actually use my bullet journal next year. So for the setup itself, it's really simple. I used a different colour per tracker in my jelly rolls. And I just set it up in a column format. So I counted down 31 boxes and numbered them. And then went across with the letter that starts at that month. And I made sure to lock up at the bottom and stagger it for the different dates and however many days there are in each month. This next spread 
is a little bit out of shot and a little bit darker because I was using natural lighting at the time. But it's my level 10 life spread. So I just set up a little table there. So it goes 10 boxes down, 10 boxes across. I numbered the boxes across at the top, one to 10. And you can see I mixed up the title a bit here. So I did level and life in that block letter in and used my Crayola super tips to do the same squiggles in the rainbows. And then 10, I just left plain for this one. And each of those little rows I can put in and I, you will see this at the end as well because I wrote it in so that you'd see but I left it out for this just because I was losing the natural daylight but I will just put in a colour and rate where I'm up to at the start of the year for that one and I've got a little gap underneath that just to put some goals so that I can make some changes to improve on this next spread it's my then and now spread so I just split it down the middle went in a rainbow gradient using my super tips and I did a rainbow gradient for the title as well so I started with purple in the middle and worked outwards both directions in the rainbow and again I'll fill that in at the end so you can see what I track so here's my little flip through I hope you've enjoyed it thanks for watching I'll see you again in my next video bye Thank you.